what is going on everybody so today I will be showing you guys how to install rare camera kits uh, in my other video I was pretty much showing you guys that I picked up uh, skunk 2 rare camera kits for my car and um, I'm about to show you guys how bad my current buddy club ones are and uh, oh yeah uh, this weekend this Saturday is a VTech club at Streets of Willow so I need to pretty much get my car ready as in like uh, well, the car is pretty much ready, but is this? I have to uh, check everything, make sure everything's all tight and nothing's gonna come off. And also, it's a uh, three-hour drive, so pretty much just gotta make sure that there's nothing that's gonna happen or anything that's wrong or that's gonna have, uh, be fucking happening with the car. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to be installing these. I'm not going to be showing you guys how to adjust them, or well, I'll show you guys how to adjust them, but I won't be showing you guys how to pretty much adjust your, um, or figure out how many degrees the camera, or whatever you want to do, because I personally don't know how to, um, I want to adjust camera, but I don't know how to adjust to a certain degree, because I don't know how to do alignment, so that's the only thing my car sees the shot for, is alignment and smog, and they're having some crazy ass construction going on right now. I'm gonna start by jacking up the car, take out two back wheels. Everything is out, I mean, not everything's out. <laughs> uh, take off the wheels and jack up the car and make sure you put on jack sands. Um, that's always, you know, safety. Now what you wanna do is, if you already have camera kits and you're just replacing your current ones, then I would recommend you leaving these tight and just taking off the two 14 mil bolts back there and the 14 right here. So all you need is a 14, but um, easiest way to get to this one is I recommend doing this. So, pretty much, I have three three-eighths uh, extensions, but one's like a little short one. So, when the socket's on there, it'll be right here, and it'll be a lot easier. If you put it, if you use no socket, or I mean, no extension, I mean, then uh, you're gonna have a hard time, because you have to go under the car and stuff. So, I want you to make it a little easier for yourself, and use extensions with, uh, there you go, the 14. Both of the camera kits are out, and this is my passenger rear. The um, reason why my rear end was making a lot of clunky noises was because of this. Um, before I took this out, it was actually sitting like this, so it was a, it wasn't pretty much dead center compared to the skunk two right there. It was literally like this, so I literally just pulled it out right now with the flathead. And um, this is pretty much after five years of, of use though. Um, thing about this is, this one came off my sedan and I was running at least negative 14 degrees of camera on this arm, uh, well on both arms. So that's pretty much why. Um, yeah. And also, to run more camera on these, a lot of people don't know, but um, what you do is take off this, and these, take off the lock rings and screw them in all the way, which is what I did on these ones. And unfortunately, Buddy Club, they have these on back ordered, and I don't know why. I guess a lot of people want them, but the front ones are so easy to get, but the rears are fucking back ordered. So that's why I have, or I ordered the Skunk 2, which is right here. And um, when you get these, brand new they uh, they don't line up with your frame as in well, I'm trying to rip this open with okay so all right almost there all right because here's my driver side this thing's pointing upwards and this one's pretty much pointing towards the frame. So what you have to do is take a fly head, put your foot on the end, and just twist it. So when you get to your car, uh, you won't have the, the problem pretty much. Why you want to keep the arm that was on your car and not adjust it when you take it off is because so you can adjust this one. So 
you can at least get your alignment close as possible as you can. So how I do it is, line up the holes. Pretty much uh, these two holes right here. And then just twist this, and you'll see it extending up right now. And try to get it as close as possible. Well, it's kind of hard eyeing it. Yeah, so you try to get it close as possible. So when you put it in a car, um, before you go to alignment shop, it'll be pretty much uh, almost accurate, I guess. These are the lock rings right here. So this arm right here is what you use to adjust. So right here, I am right now, I am adding um, more positive camera. You want more negative camera, you go the other way. So this way, but shit, I got it. Readjust it now. Okay, so that lock rings. This is to keep this from spinning. So make sure you tighten those winds on the car. There you go. So that's almost, I say, similar. Yeah, so I'm going to put these on the car now. Also, word of advice, when you're putting these ones that are going into the chassis itself, make sure you hand tighten it first. Don't impact it in because you might strip it in. Pretty much re-stripping these are such an ass. I mean, re-threading them. So make sure they're in by hand, like so. And then now that let's put this one back in, this one you probably have to smack in a bit and then uh, lift up the rotor, well, my drums, and then uh, try to get the bolt in. Ah, it's hard doing this one hand. Okay, so once you uh, tighten everything, but the thing is, don't tighten it all the way. Reason is, is because uh, when you tighten suspension components, you want to make sure that you have it all compressed, as in jack it from the bottom of the rotor, so it'll compress it, so it'll pretty much be at the position where you're always at when you're parked or driving. If you tighten it all the way right here, and you drop the car down, it's gonna put a lot of stress onto the bushing itself, and that bushing too, so. If you want it to last longer, you make sure that you jack it up, put a lot of compression. Um, well, jack it up until it's pretty much lifting off the jack itself, jack stand, and then tighten everything um, all the way. Same with the other side. But um, yeah, have it all in. I'm not going to tighten this yet because I'm going to drop the car down the wheels and um, pretty much make sure that it looks like it's at the same spot. And how about base it off is by my fender. All right, so I have the jack underneath my rotors right now. Maybe my drums. And I jack it up till it's floating like that. You can see it's kind of floating. Now you can tighten all three of the bolts. Um, yeah, and then you can still leave the, uh, the lock rings on the camera kits loose because uh, if you're gonna be adjusting the camera a little more, um, then, then you could adjust it, but uh, either way, if you bring a car to the alignment shop, they're gonna probably touch that anyways. If you want your car to sit at a certain degree of camera, so everything's all tight now. And how you adjust your camera kit is have these loose. And if you twist it this way, it's negative camera. If you twist it this way, it's positive camera. Uh, how you know is by looking at your rotor or your hum. As you twist, you'll see it shift over. So. Yeah, so I think that's it for this video. I'm just gonna put my wheels back on and go for a test drive. But yeah, so that's pretty much how you start rear camera kits and I guess semi adjust your camera or if you're gonna be like doing like crazy ass hella flush shit then uh, it's up to you to try to make it sit close to the fender or something. But yeah, hope you guys like this video and enjoy. Peace.